In this video, we'll explore the use of strategic buffers on your advanced planning and scheduling platform, Planet Together Galaxy, to use them to smooth flow of materials through the shop, to potentially reduce lead times, and also potentially to reduce costs. Let's look at how this works. In a typical manufacturing facility, finite forward scheduling is commonly thought to be a major advantage over using spreadsheets and conducting business by trying to keep track of what's happening on the shop floor and following the daily scramble and firefight that's necessary to keep things going. In this little example here, we have three resources that are involved in the production process. We have a first operation step that flows into a critical resource that I'll call the drum, and then that's followed up by a third step in the process here. And with a finite forward schedule, visually things look pretty good. Uh, all of my jobs are relatively on time, and things are in the green and yellow, no major worries just yet, but there's a problem that may not be obvious as we look further out into the future. A lot of manufacturers try to keep every resource as heavily utilized as possible with the thought that that's keep, keeping them productive and making time more worthwhile for their operators there, but there's a drawback there with regards to flow. If I zoom out my calendar here a bit further, you'll see what I mean. I've done a great job of finitely forward scheduling my first step, keeping all that uh, work stacked back to back through time over the next couple of weeks or so. But a potential difficulty with that is that I might have a disruption that really has a dramatic ripple effect on the rest of my shop. And I'll visually show you that example here. If this very first operation in my schedule, the very first thing goes wrong at all, I could have a dramatic ripple effect as follows. Let's say hypothetically that job moves out by about a half a day or so. Just that one change to the schedule has a dramatic ripple throughout my entire shop that I, of course, would like to avoid seeing any of my jobs go red and become late to their customers. I'm going to go ahead and undo that change and show how the use of buffers allows you to manage not only your upstream resources, but not sacrifice anything in the way of on-time performance and actually even get better in terms of your lead times and your operating expenses. To do that, I'll leave my forward schedule here active so that we can compare that and let's create a first what-if scenario that's going to allow us to look at a new type of planning that uses buffers. So here I am in my 20th what-if of the day and to tell Galaxy to use this different rule, we'll be able to visually see the effects very clearly as I do that. Just going to go ahead and change my optimization options to follow a rule that's called drum buffer rope scheduling. I'm going to give Galaxy a little bit of an extra buffer to be able to accommodate that particular change. When I tell Galaxy to optimize using this rule, it's going to do a couple of things that I'll try to summarize very quickly. The main aspect here is that you'll notice that the critical resources schedule doesn't change. I'm keeping that resource heavily utilized because that really is what controls the entire flow through my shop. But what has been different is that the upstream operation in particular, my first step, is laid out in such a way that I now have idle time on my resources. And for many manufacturers, that can be a tough pill to swallow because we want to keep all of our resources utilized to the utmost. What we're visually showing here is it may actually be better in your environment to delay the release of materials to the constraining resources until such a time, not that it's just about to be used, but early enough that you can accommodate any disruptions. So for example, this first step of this particular job is not finishing just at the time when it's needed, but it's buffered strategically and intelligently ahead of time to allow for a small disruption like that job, perhaps not starting on the 7th, slipping out to the 8th. That's not a big deal anymore because there's a built-in cushion in the planning to absorb those kind of variations. So that's one benefit of strategic buffering is you're insulating yourself from the inevitable disruptions that will happen in any manufacturing environment. Likewise, other um, types of um, benefits can come up into play in that if you had other products that flowed through this first resource, now you're not using the capacity too early running products that you don't need, building up work in process inventory, potentially losing those items or not being able to locate them when they're needed by the critical drum. So choking off this flow of material is a very key strategy here and you can visually see the effect of that. I'm going to go ahead and undo that so that we're back to what Galaxy has determined as the optimal buffer schedule here for these resources. And we can go ahead and compare the results across those scenarios at a high level with our key performance indicators. 
Now this window will show all of those indicators as we go across the board here where I can start to see a pretty dramatic effect that although my uh, dollar throughput and operating expenses haven't yet changed, there's a dramatic change in terms of the on-time performance I can achieve and especially on the lead times. So one thing that's kind of counterintuitive to buffering is people think that it's going to extend the average amount of time that material spends in the shop and in fact quite the opposite can be true, uh, perhaps not as dramatic as this example in your environment, but the point is made that by buffering intelligently, protecting against uncertainty, it's possible to not only improve your on-time performance but also reduce your lead times as well. I'm going to take a few minutes here to show one last scenario where we may actually be able to improve our operating expenses. Perhaps I don't have to run my first and third resources 24 hours a day, although I certainly do have to do that on my critical drum resource. Let's create a second what-if scenario for comparison and we'll do a, a small change here to the shift schedules on my first and second uh, resources that are not drums. I'm just going to open up my capacity tools here after I zoom into the week so we can nice and see what's going on with the um, shifts that are involved. I've got three shifts available here, first, second, and third, and let's just say hypothetically maybe we don't need a third shift on our first and third step resources. I'm going to go ahead and unassign that calendar from both of those, keep it on my drum where I definitely need that capacity. As I apply that, things look pretty good from the Gantt chart. If I go ahead and re-optimize just to make sure that Galaxy is making the most use of my available um, capacity at this point in time, let's compare this scenario with the other two that we started with. Now we can start to see that it may be possible not only to improve on-time performance, it may also be possible to do that with fewer resources, in other words, less capacity than you might currently need just because of the way you're planning your environment. So again, your mileage may vary here. You might not be able to be cutting operating expenses by 15, 20%. You certainly may not be able to achieve perfect on-time delivery right away. And you might not be able to cut your lead times by a half to two thirds, but I wanted to illustrate some examples of with the proper focus on constraints, thinking about running the manufacturing facility in a different way, and most importantly having a software platform that lets you see and understand the effects of your decisions at many levels throughout the organization. Those things together can really enable some very powerful changes to occur within your organization for the better. Where you can find out more information about planning and scheduling, and especially with buffer management and be able to ask questions, you can always go to Planet Together's website at planettogether.com or you can give us a call at 888-317-8807. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.